Thanks for staying with us. So according to a report, a 22-year-old woman recently drowned her baby because the child prevented her from going to university to study. She was one year old, nine months and four days. And I killed her on the 11th of May, 2020. The reason of all of these drastic decisions are much. One, let's say financial help. Two, when I'm just tired of her, three, maybe because of shame. Four, uh, my school, five, all my friends will say, stuff like that. I was dressing up, so she was giving my dress to put on because she know that I'm going there, so I must take her out. I was telling her that you are dying to go. I'm not going anywhere, but I'm going to the police station with the clean. I kill you. So I opened this bucket of water, this boom bucket of water. So I just put her leg inside first. She was struggling out, so she was able to remove the cover up. So I put um, more water, maybe because of there was not much water. So I put more water there. She was still able to remove the cover up. So I put her head upside down, inside, and I closed it, the bucket. So for some minutes, I saw her floating up. So I took her, she was still breathing. I took her the second time, she was, I brought her out again. She was still breathing again. The third time, I left her for some minutes. And I got out and was dead. I don't think I feel any pain. Why killing her? Any emotional stuff? Killing my daughter is my own best option at that moment. First of all, it's you hear the words and then you see someone who's speaking these words, but it's very far removed from what she's saying. It's like someone telling the story of another person and this is her giving in detail the steps that she took to kill her child on, you know, and it was not like a first attempt, just one time. It was m many attempts until her child died. But it made me, it, it made me really sad. It made me really sad for her, very sad for the baby. And, I'm, I, you know, she must come from a family, parents, sister, brother. She talked about her sister. I mean, this must be a very tough time for them. But clearly, this is someone who is struggling with some form of mental illness. Right. Um, a lot of the words I heard being thrown around is postpartum psychosis, postpartum depression, things like that. Our system in this country is what is the problem. Mm. We don't have, I mean, Koro uh, has shown us that we don't have health care. Yeah. That's number <laughs> one. Now, psychology, um, for psychologists, they, they are not even popular people. You cannot even wake up and say, oh, I want to go to see a psychiatrist because they will say, ah, she has gone mad. And ma madness in this part of the world is shameful. Now, this girl, I mean, I watched the video. Um, unfortunately, I just watched the video. So I feel very, very bad. Mm. The girl, look, at her, look into her eyes. Dead She's eyes. obviously not well. Mm. Mm. She's dead. obviously not well. You don't wake up and kill a human being if you are well. Mm. Mm. Um, I want to share a story. When I listen to that program this morning, I'm crying from my office because my mom, my mother also went through the same thing when she was impregnated by the boss, which is my father today, hmm. and threw her away from the office, no salary. She even even denied her. She even she even denied the pregnancy. My mom had to go and stay with her, the, her own mom. There was things were not working well. She delivered me. And she told me one time that I was asking her a question because she later got remarried. Mm -hmm. The way she was maltreating me when I was staying with them. Mm -hmm. There would be no food. Mm -hmm. Even I went to school without no, no bakery slippers. Mm -hmm. I asked her a question, mother, are you my mother? Just tell me the truth. Mm. She, she cried. She now narrated the story to me. Mm. Yes, I thank God today because I am the managing director and CEO of my own company. Mm. I have put things, I take good care of her. Even the man she later got remarried with, they later divorced. They had two children with the man. But my question is this. The women are always the victims.